Hey man, I'm Chris with Foam Cats, and here is Grotopia's World of the Day today. This is called Paid, and we got the world owner here as a special guest. Say hi. Hi. All right. Um, how do I pronounce your name? And let me find you on screen. Where are you? I saw your double saber running around here. I Ooh, pulled into the ocean. So tell me a little bit about this world. Uh, well, um, I was uh, with a friend. We were at his mm. home. And I was like, I want to make a world which becomes world of the day. And we were the whole day thinking, what kind of world can we make? Of can we make? And uh, when I was young, I made with that same guy. He's uh, called mm -hmm. Doggy in game. I mm -hmm. made from Lego. I, I made a huge Titanic with him. Very cool. And he uh, um, said like, yeah, we can make a Titanic. So it is. I love it. I've definitely been here before. Um, I, I And you were the one that reminded me that I did like a little mini video here like quite some time ago. And I'm glad that you got World of the Day, dude, because this one's really cool to me. Oh, thanks. I think I, in my first vid of here, I definitely stood on top of the, the Titanic and yelled, I'm on top of the world! Or what's the quote from Titanic? Uh, I don't know. I saw the movie like five times, but I, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think the... Whatever their names were, they were standing on the edge of the boat and yelled, I'm on top of the world! Yeah, so that was Jack and Rose. There we go, Jack and Rose. You know, you got a good memory. Yeah, oh, and I remember... Go ahead. What's that you said? Oh, I was going to talk about this little tsunami wave that I remember seeing. This is really creative, too, with Seth the Surfer Duck. Oh, okay. yeah. Very well, cool. Actually, this wave here is not really... Uh, I kind of copy it from other map. No, that's fine, man. That's part of Grotopia. Like, get, seeing someone else's idea and then making it yours. Making it uniquely yours. Like, they didn't have a Seth the Surfer duck, did they? No. See? You put your own little touch on it. <laughs> so, this world's getting World of the Day. How did you first discover that you got World of the Day? How does the process work? Sorry, someone was calling me, so I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Oh, how did you know that you got World of the Day? What's the process like? Uh, well, I was at the other world, and mm -hmm. uh, me and my friend were just, well, because we had access there, were uh, looking what was in the donation spot. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I picked it all up, and I looked at my inventory, and I had this trophy, and I was like, did someone donate this trophy or what? <laughs> then we joined uh, my world and it was World of the Day and I was really happy. Oh my god, what was your reaction? Well, first off I was like screaming in my friend's house because <laughs> I, had, I had a trophy in my inventory. <laughs> and uh, well, then he was like, maybe paid the weekend World of the Day because we didn't see a super broadcast. Because normally Seth does a broadcast at the world. Oh yeah, so maybe he did it while you were offline or something like that? Yeah, I don't know, but maybe I was like World of the Day for an hour, but I just didn't know. Very cool, dude. Man, I can't believe that you were screaming at your friend's house. That must have been such a crazy moment. Yeah. Has today been a pretty exciting day? Because I know that it just started and you just got World of the Day. Has it already been like a really cool day for you? Yes, because Aimster also joined and he of she gave me this uh, fire one, a freeze one. Very cool, man. Very rare too. Yes. I'm zooming in on that art for the freeze one. That's really cool. Uh, Greensweet definitely gave me one of those. Sh so shout out to Greensweet. He's very, very legit. Yeah. Do you have a? F Go ahead. He was here too. He uh, uh, posted something on my bulletin board. Man, that's very nice of him. Yeah. Um, do you have a secret farm or anything like that? How do you uh, get all your gems and stuff? Like, how'd you get all the items for this world? Because there's a lot of cool stuff. Well, um, here at the uh, end of the boat, I will pull you. Mm -hmm. There's a little door, and that's just not really my secret farm. This is my farm. A lot of corals here. Ooh, yeah. So this is a public thing to where you'll just have people help you farm? Yeah, because corals get uh, were nerfed, and they were really hard to break, so I was like... Oh, then I'll make a little free to build space where they can break my corals. Very, very clever. Uh, is there a door to get back to the other place or no? Uh, no, but I can send you a little message so you can do a little or go. 
Yeah, you're clever. I already got Argo typed out. We're good to go. Um, are you working on any future sneaky projects that you want to give us little hints about? Uh, yeah, sure. It's uh, World Got Fun House. I will go there now. I will message mm -hmm. you. Yeah, cool. It's a uh, oh, it's not really done yet, but yeah. Ooh. Man, this is very visually stimulating right out the get-go. Like, as soon as you walk in, that's a really cool rainbow in these clouds. But it was mm. a long time before when I worked on this. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like a month, uh, month ago. Because now there are white backgrounds and stuff, so I have to change a lot. Ooh, yeah. Man, that's so cool how they're always adding new items and stuff. Do you mind if I super broadcast from here, or do you want to keep it a secret until the video comes out? Uh, well, yeah, it's not really done, and some doors are locked, so I think it's better not. Okay, but yeah, people are definitely going to flood this place once this video comes out and start jumping around, so it might gain some popularity. Yeah, so I will make, I, I will end this map as quick as possible, so people can play it. Yeah, dude. I mean, who knows? You might end up stacking some World of the Day trophies pretty quick if this place gets popular. Oh, that, that, I hope so. Ah. Let's bounce back to Paid and show that one off since that's the, the current World of the Day. Okay. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about this password door, because I already saw someone trying to sell a pat. There's people trying to sell the password. That's the first thing that I saw when I came in here. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, there was sometimes we add a price, it has been a car and, well, some rare stuff, but not uh, really often, because it's actually easy to get the password. Yeah, um, do you think it would be cool if Grotopia added like a little notepad or something like that, so that people could write down passwords and write down letters when they're running around, or would that be too cheaty, too much cheating, kind of? Well, that will actually be cool because I try some way if I play a map with a password in it, mm -hmm. then I always get myself a paper and something to draw with so I don't forget it. Yeah, it's like a required kind of thing that if you don't have a pen and paper with you when you're doing some of these password stuff, you're going to forget a letter or forget the order and it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. Right now I'm at the part with the ice and spikes, and this is a really hard part of this map. Oh, right into the spikes. You got any tips for me to get past that? I know I'm kind of newbie. Well, if you jump into the first portal, you have to move to right real quick, because uh, under the, the, the pipe, there is a dead pipe. Ooh, oh, that was my live reaction. I tried to take your advice and I still messed up. I was like, I was trying to figure out what exactly that meant, and then I died immediately. So do I want to jump over that, or do I want to land in the portal? What's the best? Uh, land in the portal, because at the end, there are just rooms in here, and at the end, there is a kitchen, and uh, mm -hmm. the kitchen door is locked. So you have to get past this little parkour here, parkour here and mm -hmm. uh, then uh, you can go to the kitchen where the last ladder is. Bum bum bum! Whoop. Oh, I made it! And Big Yoshi fan just waiting for me. And there you are. Uh, how do I pronounce your name again? Uh, I have no idea how to say it in English, but but <laughs> it's a. Uh, I I try to spell a uh, Japanese uh, sauce, a uh, kind of thingy, but I, oh. It's called like this. I say it in chat now because I have no idea how to spell or how to say it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We might be on the same. Will you pull me? I died in a weird way. It, are you talking about? Is it like teriyaki? Uh, yes. Very cool. Hoop! Yeah. Ooh, this... I had this name in another game. I don't know if you ever played it or reviewed it. It's called Pocket Legends. Do you know that? Pocket Legends. Yeah, dude. Those guys have a lot of different games that are all kind of the same, right? Yeah, but I was, well, I was kind of famous in that game, but I stopped with playing because I uh, accidentally deleted my character. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah I, it, I was uh, a PvP uh, player, 
and I mm -hmm. had like 10,000 kills and 2,000 deaths, and then I accidentally deleted it. Oh my god, that's an insane kills to death ratio, dude. You must have been playing that game hardcore. Yeah, I think I've played it for two years. No, 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 one year. Yeah, very cool. Oh, throw me another poll. I'm messing up over here. Oh no, and I, I just went to the... <laughs> I went to your old world on accident. Let me go back to paid. Uh, do you want to throw out any shout outs? Do you need to leave soon or do we got a little bit more time? Uh, we have some more time. I think five minutes. Cool, man. Yeah, throw me a poll. And uh, let's talk about some shout outs and anything that you want to talk about for this last five. Uh, well, I first want to give a shout out to Doggy because he's a real life friend. And well, when I played Pokemon Legends, I played also with him. And. Uh, Ooh. His classmates get, told him about Pokemon Legends and he played that and he told me about it, so I played it. And actually the same uh, with Grotopia. His classmates played it and yeah, they talked about him and then they also talked about it to me. Very cool. So you're the guy that people tell you about a game and then you get super into it and then start making all kinds of cool stuff or start running the show. Oh my god. I just jumped into the orange portal, made it through the orange portal, and then jumped back into the orange portal, <laughs> and then died in a crazy way. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, I died again. Uh, yeah, yeah, I made it. Yeah, you're pro at your own map. Thank you very much. Which way should I go, left or right? Uh, left. All right. Oh no, there's no checkpoints, you gotta be careful. This part's really hard for me. Is that guy doing it right? Killer974 jumping up there? Yeah, I died. I'm scared. Ugh. Okay, so Halloween's coming up. Do you think there's gonna be a big Halloween update or what are you expecting? Well, I hope that there will be a big Halloween update because I wrote, I read it something at Meow His World items. Mm -hmm. And uh, it say that there maybe could be uh, devil wings and a spooky background. Oh my god, that's the first I've ever heard of both of those, so that's really exciting to me. What else have you heard? Um, well, some people are telling me some stuff about that there maybe will be a little trick or treat thingy that you have to go to all worlds and that there is in our world someone standing and that you can trick or treat him. Wow, that's so exciting, dude. Um, what's your favorite part about Grotopia? And this will be one of the last questions before I let you go. Uh, well, hanging out with friends, building worlds, that's just, yeah. Yeah, dude. Man, you're really creative for making this. Like, I think this is the, the first and the only Titanic world. And you got the iceberg over there. There's a little excitement going on because the ship's going to crash. You got Seth the Surfer Duck. I just think you're really cool for making this. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, any last shout outs or any last little uh, things you want to throw out there? No. Cool, man. Well, thanks for hopping on Skype with me. You hopped on here instantly, and you just pulled me to the iceberg. Yeah. And I'll try to punch you off. Uh, that's it for this vid. Thanks for watching. Bone cats.